So you may have heard the latest amateur radio news that the International Space Station now has a fully functional FM repeater on board. Uh, the latest news comes from AMSAT. Uh, it reads here that uh, on September 2nd, a crossband FM amateur radio repeater with a downlink on 437-800 uh, megahertz was activated on the International Space Station. Uh, reading a bit further down, Initial operation of the new radio system is in the FM crossband repeater mode using an uplink frequency of 145,990 with an access CTCSS tone of 67 hertz and a downlink frequency of 437.800 megahertz. System activation was first observed at 0102 UTC on September 2nd, that is 2020. Special operations will continue to be announced. So that provides amateurs with a great opportunity to be able to utilize this new FM repeater on board the International Space Station. And that's exactly what I plan on doing today. I'm going to use my IC705 uh, set up in split mode. We're going to see if we can hear uh, some other amateurs using the International Space Station repeater, what kind of signal strengths uh, we might be able to see. We'll also have a, uh, have a little visual of where the space station exactly is in relation to my location here in Hobart. And uh, hopefully we might even be able to make some contacts. I'm only using a Diamond V2000 vertical. That's a tri-band vertical for 6, 2 and 70 centimetres. Not the best antenna for uh, satellites, but we'll see how we go. VK3 Whiskey 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 VK7 Hotel Hotel 5757 five, tried uh, using the IC705 at home to uh, hear the ISS but uh, I did hear a few stations on there but I tried calling back and had no uh, no success uh, there and I think that's mainly to do with where my antenna is located there's quite a few houses and trees and, and hills and stuff about so what I've done is I've come here uh, on top of the middle of uh, Hobart uh, the uh, the Queen's Domain they call this it's only actually just uh, across the across the way from where the local uh, repeat, um, amateur club is. It's a little club's just over the back here, and you can uh, see in the background, got a couple of cars here in the car park too. But uh, I drove up here with the 705. It's actually uh, sitting on the passenger seat there. But uh, I've got the wrong connector on my antenna on the car, so I can't connect in the 705. But I will try and make contact with the ISS using the 8900, so um, in that's my um, radio in the vehicle so we'll see if we can contact anyone on the I uh, well via the ISS with the repeater also apologize for any uh, bad uh, shaky camera work as well because I've only got my iPhones in my hand so anyway let's see if we can uh, raise anybody on the ISS repeater Okay. 
Uh, tried again on top of the uh, the hill uh, a little bit better had some uh, vk5s on the uh, repeater but uh, yeah not uh, not too good I, i'm only using the car car whip at the moment so uh, no wonder it's it's not that good i'd uh, be much better off with the yagi that i can be pointing directly at the space station as well so maybe uh, maybe next time i might be able to set that up with the 705 and have the have the yagi pointing towards the towards the space station but anyway that's good a uh, couple of stations there so uh, maybe next time i might be able to uh, make contact and uh, we'll see how we go so thanks guys for watching and uh, good luck let me know in the comments below if you've worked uh, the space station and uh, what your best signal strength is that you've had on it how many contacts you've had on it and uh, don't forget to subscribe and also like the ham radio dx channel and uh, thanks again for watching